is my great pleasure to welcome you all in the name of the University of Primorska at our headquarters in the Hall of Armeria and Foresteria, the magnificent twin palaces located in the central square of the city of Koper at the Adriatic coast. The palaces were first built in the 15th and 16th century and later joined into a single palace that in turn has been restored in this millennium for the needs of our university. Today we gathered here to witness the opening of an important exhibition as the first accompanying event of the 8th European Congress of Mathematics that is hosted by Slovenia and in particular by our university and will take place next month. All thought, the University of Primorska is the smallest and the youngest of the three Slovenian public universities. It uh, holds mathematicians in great esteem. The last two rectors are mathematicians governing the university for the past 10 years. Our university also promotes women in higher education and research. So far, half of the rectors were females. In particular, we support and encourage women in mathematics. That is why I am very proud that the European Women in Mathematics and Committee for Women in Mathematics of the European Mathematical Society have prepared this important exhibition and have chosen our university as its venue. Thank you. Dragi gostje, dragi prijatelji, dobrodošli. Cari ospiti, cari amici, benvenuti. Dear guests, dear friends, welcome. I am very pleased that I can greet you here in person. The icy darkness that fell upon Earth, on Europe and on Slovenia over a year ago and threatened to freeze all personal human contacts is slowly giving way to light or warmth. I firmly believe that today's opening of the exhibition Women of Mathematics Throughout Europe, a gallery of portraits, is a symbolic milestone signifying the beginning of a new era and will remain in our hearts and memories permanently. In this place and time, or in space-time continuum, as mathematician Hermann Minkowski would say, and perhaps Einstein's wife Mileva would see in her dreams, an important event is taking place. This event is a limiting point to which a number of key processes converge. I'm very happy that this is the first accompanying event to the 8th European Congress of Mathematics, 8th ECM the most important meeting of mathematicians this year in the world that will gather over 1,300 mathematicians, alas, mostly virtually. The European Mathematical Society and the organizing committee of the 8th ECM are strongly committed to support women in mathematics at all levels. We are proud that over 400 female mathematicians registered for the Congress. For a long time, EMS has recognized the needs of women mathematicians for a body that protects their interests and promotes gender rights. The EMS Committee for Women closely cooperates with the European Women in Mathematics, an independent organization connecting women mathematicians throughout Europe. EWM is the primary initiator for the current exhibition. Within the coming 8 ECM, the EWM will organize a special workshop, a public lecture, and will hold a meeting of its governing body. I would like to thank University of Primorska and its rector, Claudia Kutnar, to enable this wonderful exhibition at this historic place and for active support that made it possible. Special thanks go to Dr. Jasna Prezel 
and Dr. Marietta Kramer Fiosch, who were local contacts between the authors of the exhibition and the organizers of the ATCM, and Mirila Baruzza, who was in charge for setting up the exhibition. Also, my thanks are extended to the Society of Mathematicians, Physicists, and Astronomers of Slovenia for a very active role in the preparation of the update of this exhibition. Recently, Slovenia is making great leaps towards recognizing gender equality in mathematics. For a long time, that was not so. Nowadays, one of the three universities in Slovenia is run by a female mathematician. Also, the Society of Mathematicians, Physicists, and Astronomers of Slovenia is run by a female president, Professor Neška Mramor Kosta. Neška is only the second woman awarded a PhD from any mathematics department in Slovenia, 70 years after establishing the first PhD program in Slovenia. Her portrait forms a part of the present gallery and is the only contribution from Slovenia to this fine exhibition. This is an excellent sign that we are on the right path toward the full recognition of women of mathematics throughout Europe, including Slovenia. Thank you. Now, Now, I would like to ask uh, Professor Neška uh, Mramor Kosta to introduce the exhibition, please. Let me start by saying a few words about the amazing project be behind the opening of today's exhibition and also a word on the role of women in mathematics. The Turing exhibition Women in Mathematics throughout Europe began at the seventh European Congress in Mathematics in Berlin in 2016. This original exhibition consisted of portraits and interviews with 13 women working in math at institutions in 13 different European countries. Since its start, five years ago, it has grown into a worldwide phenomenon with over 120 venues throughout Europe, Asia, Africa, South America and Australia, and with several extended and parallel versions inspired by the original. In Cambridge in 2017, uh, an exhibition supplemented with portraits of the local female mathematicians from Cambridge University's Faculty of Mathematics. In Chile in 2018, portraying Latin American women in mathematics. In Australia, portraying 16 Australian mathematicians. Was, an exhibition was just opened on May the 12th this year, to mention just a few. The exhibition presented here is an extension of the original by seven portraits of women from countries on the shores of the Mediterranean. For me personally, it was an exciting experience and an honor to be a part of this project. It gave me the opportunity to meet two authors of the exhibition, two amazing women. Sylvie Paicha, a professor of mathematics at the University of Potsdam, is the author of the idea and the concept of the project. And Noel Matouf, a professional photographer, is the author of the beautiful portraits. The graphic design is due to Gesine Krüger. So, how was the portrait made? I was asked to give a short blackboard talk on my math work to Sylvie and Noel, who was taking photos. Following this was an interview by Sylvie, where the point was not on the math, but on my life, my career, my point of view. It gave me the opportunity to look back and think about my profession as part of my whole life, which was extremely fulfilling. I would like to take this opportunity to thank warmly my colleagues, Marieta kramer fiausch and Jasna Prezel, who organized the conference Women in Mathematics on the Shores of the Mediterranean that took place in Bled as an accompanying event to the annual General Assembly of the Society of Mathematicians, Physicists and Astronomers of Slovenia in 2019, where all this was taking place and to where they kindly invited me. Today's opening of the exhibition Women of Mathematics throughout Europe is one of the more than 120 events going on throughout the world in the recognition of May 12th, the day dedicated to celebrating women in mathematics. Among these events is the film 
Words of Women in Mathematics in the Time of Corona, another project by Sylvie Paicha, and in my opinion, an important document on the impact of the corona crisis. This particular day was chosen since it is the birthday of Mariam Mirzakani, the first and until now the only woman that has been awarded the Fields Medal in 2014. This is the highest honor for a mathematical accomplishment. The fact that no other woman have ever been awarded a Fields Medal tells us something about the position of women in mathematics, in the mathematical world. Firstly, there are not very many of them. And secondly, the Fields Medal is awarded only to young mathematicians younger than 14, and women are to a bigger extent busy taking care of their families and little children with less time for dedicated and time-consuming mathematical breakthroughs in this period of their lives. This is one of the points wonderfully illustrated through, through the interviews in the catalog the that accompanies the exhibition. Another point is that the women mathematicians are of all kinds, young and old, with different cultural backgrounds, outstanding in mathematics and just mathematicians. But the problems we face are similar, and so are the joys and the enthusiasm in being part of this beautiful field of science. So finally, what is the role of women in mathematics? Well, it is to do math. <laughs> finally, I have the pleasant duty to thank the team of the University of Primorska who kindly and with very much work and, uh, and um, a lot of uh, problems in this unusual usual year with the pandemic going on, uh, managed to uh, put together this uh, exhibition here in Koper in time for the opening uh, and in time for May 12th, this important date for us in mathematics. Um, and also, I would like to take the opportunity again to thank the authors of the exhibition, Sylvie Paicha and Noel Matouf, and also the, the, um, the organizers of the event in Bled, Marieta kramar and Jasna Prizel, uh, who are responsible for this wonderful extension of the exhibition that is going on today. Uh, so, to so to conclude, uh, I would like to invite the director of the University of Primorska, Claudia, Claudia Kutner, to open formally the exhibition. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to Professor Tomasz Pisanski, uh, the chair of the organizing committee of the 8th European Congress of Mathematics. Thank you very much to Professor Nishka Mramor Costa to present the exhibition and thank you to uh, Professor Dr. Jasna Prezel and to Professor Dr. Uh, Maritka Fiausch for uh, making all this event possible. I am very happy that uh, we have the honor to be the university that is hosting this exhibition in Slovenia as the first university. After our university, the exhibition is moving to the University of Nova Gorica, then uh, it goes to University of Ljubljana, and I think that it will end at the University of Maribor. So thank you uh, to everyone, and uh, uh, everyone is welcome to come to this lobby of our university to look at the exhibition. There will be also a couple of catalogues here and you're welcome to take them. Uh, they are still not here but we hope that they, the post will arrive uh, next uh, week. Uh, also the exhibition will stay here during the Congress, so those participants of the European Congress of Mathematics that will be able to come to the venue of the Congress are welcome to stop by uh, in this uh, lobby as well. So uh, thank you very much and uh, with these words uh, I must say that the exhibition is officially opened. So welcome. <laughs>